Okay, for this session we are going to make a helical spring. We're going to start at the insert button, come down to a helical sweep, and we're going to choose the protrusion. Coming over here we have the pop-up menus and the first thing it's asking us is the attributes. What we're basically defining here is whether we want to have a right-handed or a left-handed uh, helix. We'll stick with the right hand and we'll select done. Then it's asking us where we're going to make our sketch for our sweep profile. We're going to select any of the datum planes. We'll select the top one. We'll accept the defaults in terms of the direction, clicking OK, and again selecting the default for the sketch view. Now what we're doing up here, it's asking us for the sweep profile. So what we're going to do for this one, we're going to make a simple straight spring. So we're going to click on a line and just make a straight vertical line. We'll dimension it. So in this case, let's make our spring length 300. I guess we can make this even on either side of the profile, make it 150, and we'll make our spring radius, let's make it 75. Now, what we also need is to define the axis of rotation for our helix. So we're going to come over here to the line, select on the center line icon, and again, select one, and again, we're going to make our center line a vertical center line. Once those are done, we've now selected the trajectory, essentially defining the radius of our helix and the center line about which we're going to rotate. We'll select on the check button down here on the sketch menu. Now it's going to ask us for the pitch value. The pitch value, again, is the amount that we're going to move down in the vertical direction for each one complete revolution of our helix. So let's accept the value of, th of 30, so that's going to be that every one revolution we're going to move down 30. So we'll click the check button. And now the last element that we need to define is the section. So for this one we'll make a simple circular spring or circular wire if you want to take a look at it. And we're just going to come down here to the top of the line, draw a circle. Again, we can dimension it. And let's make it 10. Choose our check mark. And you come up here to the upper left hand side. It tells us that all elements have been defined. So now we can come over here, say OK and there is our helical spring. Now say we'd want to go back and modify a few of these dimensions. We'll come back over here to the model tree, right click on the feature which is given here as our protru protrusion, and we're going to come here and edit the definition. So it brings up back to the menu here and there's various things that we can come in and modify. For instance, say we want to modify our pitch I'll select pitch, select the define button, and now we can change our pitch to uh, make a more drawn out spring. So let's say we'll go to 50. Again, we'll say the, click the check mark, and we'll say OK. And now we have a much um, broader spring. We could also go to the opposite direction. I can right click on, on the protrusion, select edit definition, again go to the pitch, define it, and now we'll go to the other direction, have a 25, and now we're going to deal with, we'll end up with a much tighter looking spring. All right, same way we could come in and we could define if I go back to edit the definition, I can come back to the sweep profile. I can select on that, click define. Now look at the menu manager. It comes up and it's asking us again, the modify box is selected. We want to say done because we want to actually do the modification. 
Now we can come in here and if I want to I could delete, I could change the radius or I could actually come in here and delete the entire profile which I'm going to do here. Click, select on it and hit delete and notice the um, center line is still defined. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to select a spline and now I'm going to do it's a completely different profile. I can put some dimensions on it. Make that a hundred. I'll make this a hundred and fifty. And I'll make this bottom point seventy-five. That defines my section. I'll say OK. Uh, rather, I have to click my check mark here. And then I'll say OK. And now I've created a very interesting looking spring. All right. So you can, oh, the last thing we, we wanted to, to verify or see if we can change is again, I'll click on the protrusion, go to my edit definition, and now I can also change the section. So I'll click on the section. I'll choose to define it. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So let's do a situation here where I am going to... Um, why don't we do this? We'll draw a rectangle around it. I'll put in a line. and let me trim out half the rectangle so now I have this is my enclosed area I will select the check mark I'll say OK and now I've created a fairly interesting looking spring what we would use this for. I don't actually have any idea, but it's definitely an interesting looking shape that we can create using the, um, again, the insert helical sweep function. And that concludes this um, exercise in a helical sweep.